Hi folks, Scott DeFusco with Capture Life here. So in this segment, we're going to talk about a um, very specific workflow and use case related to action sports photography, and it utilizes the Capture Life Events app. So let's talk a little bit more about how this works, and then we're going to hear from a customer, Kevin Cook of Legends Event Photos, on how he's used this effectively in the field to make more profit from his events. So how did this come about? Well, we teamed up with our longtime partner, Glossy Finish, to come up with this new model for action sports where you can make money um, with action photos. Now, that may seem like an obvious thing, but those of you who have been in this space and who have done action sports photography know that it is tough to make money because most companies are using the wrong business model and they don't have the technology to streamline the process. So it not only becomes very labor intensive, but it's built on the old spray and pray model. That's what people have traditionally done. They've taken pictures of everybody on the field and then they've thrown those pictures up online in a gallery hoping that parents come and purchase images. We all know that that model doesn't work and it's just been proven over time uh, to really push photographers out of the action sports photography space. But Glossy Finish has worked with a different model for years. They've always taken payment um, and only photographed the people who have paid them, their child. So that's a very different model and it works. And so what they've done is teamed up with us to take what they've built over the years in building one of the most successful uh, action sports photography businesses in the world. And we've teamed up to build this new model that puts this all in the hands of any photographer. So we're gonna talk more specifically about that. So the model is very simple. You actually take a payment using the Capture Life Events app from parents whose photographs you're gonna take of their kids. So you're only going to photograph the people that paid you. So if you're shooting a game and you take payments from let's say five parents, then those are the kids you're photographing. So the app allows you to take the payment, um, enter the customer information, some information on the, the kid or kids that you'll be photographing, and then um, it's all taken from there. Then you photograph, you do what you're great at, and you photograph the kids whose parents paid for them to be photographed. After the game, you upload, do any editing you might do, uh, need to do, and then using the Capture Life platform, just push those orders out to right to the parent's phone. Now you have a direct connection to that parent on an ongoing basis. And what we've seen as well is that parent has access to your great work, your brand is front and center, and they're showing off those photographs to other parents. So it becomes this referral network for you to get more work. That's how it works. It's a very simple process. But let's talk a little bit more about what's behind this model because there's a lot more to it than this, a lot more that you can harness. Number one, um, GF Crew is the brand behind this. So this is what um, Glossy Finish came up with as a community called GF Crew. And if you go to gfcrew.com, you will see all sorts of ways that you can join the community, leverage the community. There's, I believe we're over a thousand now members um, in the community. You're gonna find all sorts of great resources, um, videos, tutorials on how to make money using this method. In addition, you're gonna be able to download the app here. You're gonna be able to buy the starter kit, which we'll talk about a little more here in a minute, and really have a, an ongoing connection with this great community. Um, so there's people here um, helping you to succeed at the model. And so we said it's no more spray and pray. So pre-paid sales only using the app, it, you have a square reader that you use to swipe and take the payment with the app. But there's some other things that are part of this model that Glossy Finish has developed that are really important to the success. For example, this starter kit that you're seeing here in the middle of the screen allows you to look like an event photographer, wear an official bib, you have um, credentials, you actually have uh, press pass credentials, um, so with a, that includes a background check that Glossy Finish provides so that people know that you're a professional um, accredited photographer that has you know the credentials to back it up. 
There's also marketing material that you use with the parents, like a lanyard that the parent wears when their kid's being photographed, or rubber bands that you put around the kid's cleats so you know which ones you're photographing during the game. It makes it easy to, to identify them. All sorts of tools that come with the starter kit that make this model um, really effective. And then the app itself is a big part of the model. So with the app, you can quickly create customer um, and job information. So you add a job, you add a customer, their name, their phone number, their email address, some information on the subjects that you're gonna be capturing, and then you take a payment. You swipe their credit card right there, the transaction is registered, and that customer record is waiting for you after the game so that you can upload the photos to that customer in your Capture Life portal and deliver those images to the customer right on their phone. So it's a very simple and intuitive process. And the pricing is simple. There's no upfront fees. This is essentially um, free to use. We only get paid when you take orders. When you take an order, there's a 15% um, service fee. That's how we get paid. And then the rest is yours. If there are any print sales made after the fact, this is a digital first model, so you're delivering digital images, but Capture Life does have the print store in the app that allows um, print purchases to be made by the consumer at any time in the future. And the majority of those proceeds from the profit go right back to you as a photographer. So how do you, you can get started right away? Just go to GF Crew, sign up, um, get the starter kit, and download the app and get going making money with Action Sports. And I wanted to highlight um, Kevin Cook. Kevin Cook um, it has been using this model, and I'll introduce Kevin here so he can talk more about what they've done with the GF Crew model and the Capture Life Events app. So with us now um, for this segment is Kevin Cook, Legends Event Photography. and. Kevin uh, and his company has been a customer with us for um, several years now, so we've had a lot of um, work together. Kevin has also been very progressive in the use of the platform. When new technology or workflows come out, he's been ready to embrace those and, and has had some real success, so that's what we're here to, to talk about today. So, Kevin, uh, welcome to Pulse. All right. Thanks, Scott. Yeah, we're... Uh excited for all the stuff Capture Life kind of brings to our business and uh, it's been great for us. So we're looking forward to it. Great. And for the people attending, just to get a, a better sense of your, your company, Kevin, because um, you, you do different types of photography, uh, it'd be great for you to just give a brief introduction of what your company does. Sure. Um, so we started out primarily as like volume youth sports and that's still the core of our business. So, you know, team and individual picture day, um, off of that, we branched into some on-site printing events. Um, that's become a pretty big portion of our revenue over the, the course of the year. And then over the last three years, we've now kind of gotten back into the, the volume school underclass business. And so we uh, we had some schools of our own and we purchased an existing guy's uh, business. And we've integrated Capture Life into a lot of that as well. He was using some outdated digital delivery methods, you know, CDs and things like that. So um, we've kind of integrated the Capture Life model into everything we do to an extent because it kind of keeps us from having to deliver all these different ways. So we do a little bit of everything, um, uh, but, but volume is, is kind of the crux of what our focus is. Right. And related to that, your focus on volume, you know, you've mentioned in the past that um, you, you've done action sports photography, for example, but there were some maybe operational and financial challenges to the, the previous model. Um, can, can you talk a little bit about, you know, how you were running the events before sure. from a business model and technical perspective? And then when you got introduced to the GF crew model that we worked with Glossy Finish, our partner on and the Capture Life Events app, how you've used that at several events and, and sort of what the difference is between the two models. Yeah. So we've, We've done action like events for 15 to 20 years, going back to when we used to take laser printers and print proof books. And then we've tried every kind of software that's been out there, uh, five minute photo, photo parada, uh, it, just using the express digital stations as viewing kiosks. We, we have tried it all, um, even use some software now called Photability, which is, is still good software, but 
uh, what we kept running into was to have any sort of on-site viewing stations. Uh, you know, action photography has just changed so much in the last decade that to staff those events was just eating the profit, just eating it alive. And so we would, we had a lot of revenue, but we, it took so much staff to uh, set up six to eight kiosks, um, you know, staff those kiosks, you know, somebody printing, all that stuff. It just ate into the profit. And, and to go on with that, you know, even no matter how many stations you set up, that was the limit to the number of customers you could serve at one time. I mean, at every go to any ballpark tournament and all five fields get done at one time. And so 10 teams where the parents walk by your booth, if you've got 10 iPads, you can only help 10 people. And so we just kind of kept beating our heads against the wall about how we can do less work for as much, if not more money. And so we had tried uh, a couple of options. We tried like just posting it to our website that didn't work. Um, we tried everything. And so uh, we had already been partnering with, with you guys capture life on just like our regular digital deliveries. When they, you guys came out with the, the first version of the, the smart events, we tried that. And then, when they rolled out the GF crew model, we tried it at a, um, like a, it's one of those events you just have to do to get their TNI business. It's their end of the year jamboree. And I mean, we were basically doing really good to break even every year, but we had to do it to get the money part of the job. And so this past year we tried it and I think we took close to 30 signups. We charged a, probably a lower price point than what we should just because it was kind of a new thing. But, we went out there with just the three photographers and one lady uh, kind of helping the parents, you know, sign up and made, you know, almost as much revenue with probably half of the expense. Cause I didn't take my trailer. I didn't get out my iPads. I didn't have a computer person. I didn't have a salesperson. Um, so profit wise, our profit on that particular job was much higher. Uh, you know, and the people, embraced it because they've been getting their images from that league from us through capture life for several years. So the notion of getting their images from this event all digitally, you know, they, they were fine with it. So nobody once said, you know, well, you know you've always printed this or you've always done that. Um, they just, they just ran with it. And so we've now used it um, at a couple other events. In fact, we just used it two weekends ago at a, at a similar event, but for a football jamboree, and we had about 40 signups at that, um, which was great because we're really there just to do the team photos. And it's another event that we have to do. It's like a conference wide championship game. And uh, same thing, you know, I cut my labor costs down, cut my employee costs down, uh, all the equipment we did not have to set up. Uh, so we were able to get there later, leave earlier. Uh, cause you're not trying to stay after the last game to sell them the pictures you just took. And you know, we already had the money in hand. We came back to the office, you know, did some edits, uploaded, and we were done with it. So it's, it's been really great for us, you know, on certain events to really kind of keep the cost down. And, and we're making as much profit as we did before with probably half the work. So that, that's great. And, and you, you highlighted something that's worth, um, you know, elaborating on a little bit. And that is that, your previously, if I'm understanding it right, it was a it was a spec model. Um, you would you get the orders in advance, or would people come up and view afterwards, or how did the model work? So we we switched about five years ago to where they the parent did have to pay a sign up fee, but then they still had to come after the game to pick out the images they wanted. So we really that's another way it saved us is we had to deal with each customer twice. They had to come to our booth to sign up, give us money then, and then they had to come back to our booth after the game to pick out, that's the one I want on the poster, this is, this is what I want for this. So it's a little bit less of an investment on the customer's sake too, you know, because they're, they're not really there for pictures, they're there for, you know, baseball game, football game. So it's like they were in and out of our booth in, I don't know, five minutes you know, versus, I mean, we've had people stay at our booth for two hours, you know, cause we got 60 images of their kid and they're trying to whittle it down to the five they want on a, on a poster. So you can see like that frustration start to build. It's almost like you gave them too much of a good thing. So they, uh, it kind of made it a much slicker process for the customer too. We, you know, there's always some folks that, that kind of resist that change, but the majority 
we're like, you know, this is much easier. You know, I just, I walk up, I don't have to look at the iPads, you know, uh, with the iPads, no matter what you do, they're hard to see. Um, so, uh, you know, it's just been a more efficient method for us and for the parents. So. Uh, that, that, that's great. And you, you, um, I remember when we talked about this in the past, you mentioned there was another benefit that first tournament that you did that you were actually able to get behind the lens again. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I very rarely, I'm sure like, like most of the folks watching, you know, you know, as you, as your business gets bigger, you get to do less and less of what you kind of got into it to do. And that was the case with me. I, especially at these events, um, you know, I was kind of the maintenance man, you know, Oh, you know, Kevin, they walk, you talk me and, you know, the iPad, you know, eight, it's not picking up the signal or, you know, the photo printer, you know, did this or whatever. So I would just as soon get on the field and get called back off the field. So the couple of events that I've personally been at where we've used the GF crew model, you know, I've got to be one of the photographers, you know, because it's all the only thing that can go wrong is the iPad. And so there's only one thing to kind of worry about. And, you know, that, we always have a backup for that. So um, it's let me go and shoot, which not only is enjoyable for me, like on a personal level, but it saves me money because I'm not, I'm not hiring that position out. Uh, so it's kind of a, a double edged sword for me. So it's great. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, I know that you've given us feedback that we are now incorporating. We've received feedback from you and a lot of other photographers. Um, and that's feeding into our work with, with glossy finish on the whole GF crew model. And we're going to continue enhancing that. So appreciate the, the feedback that you've given us. And we're, we're excited to, to see this progress even more in the market. And hopefully um, you're excited about using it at even more events in the future. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, for, uh, you know, for it to be like kind of the first iteration, I mean, it's already been a benefit. And so I, we, we've discussed internally amongst, you know, my staff, you know, oh, it would be great if it did this. And then the next time there's a release, it's doing that. So we're excited to kind of see what else we can use it towards. You know, we uh, obviously during our off seasons, we'll take on all sorts of different events to kind of fill in our calendar. So we're already kind of looking ahead and saying, well, you know, this could help us do, you know, Santa photos. We do some like trunk or treat events. And some of those we do for like PR you're just in our community or if it's a community we want to get into their business, we've taken on little events that normally we would not do because it would be too much headache to set up printers and set up these sorts of things. But this kind of gives us an avenue to where we can take on some other styles of events um, and look at it and say, okay, well, we don't have to worry about taking all this stuff. We can just go with a photographer and maybe an assistant and we can go do this event. Maybe we make money, but, you know, a lot of those events we just look at as a way to kind of brand ourselves, get our name out there. So this kind of gives us a slick way to do that. And we always look at these things as the more times we can engage a certain customer over and over again, especially digitally, we kind of look at it as building a, a portfolio with that client where um, we don't want them to shop around to another person, um, you know, where if they're on their personal capture life app on their phone, you know, they're seeing all these images over time that we've delivered to them, whether that's their little league baseball, a daddy daughter dance, schools, anything. We want that to continually be coming from us so that they notice when whatever organization they're with doesn't do that. And it's hard to do that in, in prints because, you know, once they get framed, even if you watermarked it or if you back printed it, once it's framed, that, that, that's really gone. And uh, so at least on that digital side, they can constantly see, I've got 15 pictures from Legends Event Photo in Clinton. And, you know, that way if we show up at their event, they kind of, there's an expectation of what they're going to get from us. And so we, we look at all these things as um, just ways to continually just keep delivering images. It's almost like building up a, uh, like an insurance portfolio. We just want that longstanding relationship where it's like, hey, I know who those guys are. So we're, we're excited to, to see what it's going to do and kind of the different things we can do with it. Yeah. And, you know, it's such an important point you're making about um, building your brand and, and keeping, you know, if, if someone's just using, you know, they use it one season, they may not um, realize that benefit like you have where it starts to build. And, you know, speaking of building brand, your, your free Virginia Tech hat is on the way to yeah. replace the hat you're wearing. 
and wear a Virginia Tech hat. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin, I want to really want to thank you for taking the time to, to be with us and sharing your insights, and we look forward to doing more with you in the future. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to it. Thanks, Kevin. All right, thank you, guys. All right.